Hello gamers, in today's video we are tackling the disconnected from server gate server disconnected error in throne and liberty. If this issue is keeping you from diving into the action, we will share some easy fixes to get you back in the game. Let's jump right in. Solution 1. Check server status. Before attempting any fixes, verify if the game server are operational. You can do this via the game's official website to see if there are any ongoing server issues or maintenance announcements. I have provided the link in the description. You can directly go through it. Solution 2. Adjust network settings. On console, go to setting, then go to network setting. Select reset network settings or restore default settings. On PC, open control panel, then go to network and internet, then go to network connections. Right click on your active connection, select properties, then disable IPv6 if it's enabled or enable it if it's disabled. Solution 3. Use VPN or WARP. Download a VPN service that supports IPv6 or use Cloudflare's wrap app. Install the VPN application on your device. Connect to a server location close to you. Launch Throne and Liberty while connected to the VPN. Solution 4. Delete the TL folder. Press Windows plus E to open File Explorer. Navigate to the App Data folder. In the address bar, type the following path and press Enter. C slash users, your username slash app data slash local. Replace your username with your actual Windows username. Locate the TL folder. Look for a folder named TL in the local directory. Right click on the TL folder and select delete. Confirm any prompts that appear to complete the deletion. Solution 5. Adjust graphics settings and activate DirectX 12. Launch Throne and Liberty on the first screen. Click the gear symbol in the upper right corner to open the option menu. Set all graphic settings to medium manually. Do not use preset. Scroll down to the bottom of the options menu. Turn off Direct X12. Close and relaunch the game. Find a server that is marked as green, indicating it's available. Do not skip the intro by pressing ESC. After watching the intro, you should be able to create your character. Start playing through the short tutorial. Make sure to watch all cutscenes without skipping. Once you walk through the big door and see the veil, you have successfully reached this part of the game. Now go back into options and activate Direct X12 again. Ensure that shader preloading is set to EPIC. Restart the game one more time to apply all changes. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.